The University of Texas at El Paso College of Engineering, in collaboration with Holly Burton, presents Heat Conduction. Before using any machinery, make sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment. Conduction is the transfer of heat between substances that are in direct contact with each other. The better the conductor, the more rapidly heat will be transferred. According to Fourier's law of heat conduction, if a plane wall thickness delta x and area A, which represents the area normal to the direction of the heat transfer, supports a temperature difference delta T, then the heat transfer rate per unit time Q is given by the following formula. If the material of the wall is homogeneous and has a thermal conductivity K, which is the constant of proportionality, then the formula is the following. It should be noted that the heat flow is positive in the direction of temperature fall hence the negative sign in the equation. The heat conduction lab consists of a linear heat conduction accessory, a heat transfer service unit on a suitable bench, and four different samples of brass, stainless steel, and aluminum. The linear heat conduction accessory comprises a hidden section and a cooling section, which can be clamped together or clamped with interchangeable specimens. The temperature difference created by the application of heat to one end of the resulting wall and cooling at the other end results in the flow of heat linearly through the wall by conduction. Thermocouples are positioned along both the heated section and cooled sections at uniform intervals of 15 mm to measure the temperature gradient along the sections. A controlled valve allows the flow of cooling water to be buried. Take a special notes of temperatures T4 and T5, since you will be using this to calculate thermal conductivity for the materials of the specimens. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.